So, let's do this video. Let's do this video. Okay, here we go. So, once again, I'm going to explain the truth of this situation. Not that you should care about it, but I'm going to explain this truth of this situation. You'll have certain people maybe in your life or around you or you see them or whatever, 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 right? You know who they are. They know who you are. You get around them sometimes, maybe. Who knows? There are idiots in this world that will literally lie and slander your name and make you look not as good as you actually are behind your back to make themselves look better so they might be able to get a win and you don't you don't get it but they get the win they want to make you lose so they can try to win because they are fucking snakes and they can't get a win themselves I'm going to be honest with you guys and I'm going to explain the situation that happened and it's going to make perfect sense and it's going to give you guys a lot of insight here I had a so-called friend before, right? That I was talking to a specific girl. This was a little while ago. And what happened was... He knew I was talking to her, so he wanted to try to talk to her as well. So he would make up lies to this girl. He would snake his own boy for a fucking female. Can you believe it? He tried to snake me, and it didn't it did not work in his favor. It will never work in a person like that's favor. At best they might be able to make someone believe something about you that's not true, but the light will always come. The truth will always come to light, is what I meant to say. It literally did not work, but he tried, and this is what I'm about, uh, this is what I'm about to explain. He just simply said things about me to her that is just not true at all, at all, at all, at all. And it's quite ridiculous how people can do that and just make you look stupid. Just try to to make themselves look better. Because essentially, that's what it will do. Now, this person, this girl, did not even really care what he said. It wasn't like she's right on board with what he's saying, believing everything. She just did not, like, care. Which is cool, I guess. She's not a super naive girl. She's pretty smart. But I would continue talking to this person... And she's not talking to me like things are weird or anything even happened. She just, we just continued to talk. And this guy and this girl, it just fell off. He tried to talk to her, but she didn't even want to talk to him. She would leave him on red all the time, unopened all the time. And he would keep trying to talk to her, keep trying to talk to her, but she would talk to me and not him. And he would literally try to start saying stuff about me to her that's not even true. And you want to know something else that's funny? He would come to me and start saying things to her like, yeah, yeah, she was talking to me and all this stuff. She was talking to me What he is what he said. No, you were talking to her. You were trying to talk to her is what happened. This is what liars do. And this is a video. This is this video topic for today. This is what liars do. And he started telling me things like, yeah, I, I leave her on open. She keeps talking to me all the time. And yeah, I just leave her on open. Acting like he's the better person here. Acting like he's a more important person here. But when he was telling me these things, I knew for a fucking fact that he was lying. Because this girl, at the time when I was talking to her, she is not like that at all. I'm not even on bad terms with this girl today. We just stopped talking for whatever. It just veered off whatever. But, and honestly, it veered off because of me because I did not want to continue. I feel she's not ready. I, I, I genuinely feel she's not ready. I let it, I let it go. 
she she asked me to hang out first. She wanted to hang out first and all this kind of stuff. But I just feel like she was she she was she was nervous of the situation. I got some age over her. I got some more experience over her. I understand things more than her. She's a smart girl for her age, but I just genuinely feel she is not ready. Who knows? Maybe at some point, someday, maybe. I doubt it. But she's still not a bad person. It didn't end bad at all. It just sort of died. Simply because she's not ready. That's what happened. But anyways. He would tell me these things that I knew for a fact he was lying because I know what she's like. She's not chasing no fucking guy's attention. At all. At all, at all, at all. She's not that type of person. I knew he was lying when he said it, and I know what he's like, this guy. So I went and I told this girl that he told me this, and she's like, what? No way, like, I'm leaving him unopened, what? And she's, like, going crazy, like, kind of, like, pissed her off a little bit. And she didn't even have to tell me not to know the truth, because I already knew this motherfucker was lying, bro. So basically, he was lying to me about her, and he was lying to her about me. He was lying to me about her. He was lying to her about me. He was saying things to me that wasn't true. He was saying things to her about me that wasn't true. Both. So, automatically this tells you he is a useless one. He is a scumbag. He is a slanderer. He is a liar. It's, it's, a, it's what a dirty person would do. It's what a snake does. Because they cannot get anything on their own. They can't earn something. They're not worthy enough. So, that's what happened there. And I continued to talk to this girl for a couple months. I talked to this girl for three months when this happened. It was in 2021. And, like I said, she's not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. It just died down, is all it is. It wasn't even that serious, to be honest. It, 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 I, I felt the potential there. It could have went somewhere, but a lot of things just don't happen. Every person you talk to, is, is something's just not gonna happen. It's just the way it is. And I genuinely feel she was disappointed whenever I decided to just stop trying. I don't think she wanted to genuinely stop trying, if I'm being honest. But I let it go because I also feel we're just not that compatible. Not that compatible. There's some things that's good, there's some things that's uh. There's probably better out there for me. There's probably, honestly, somebody better than me out there for her as well. I'm not going to just sit here and be like, yeah, I can get better, blah, 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 and make her look stupid, and make me look good. She could probably get somebody that's more compatible for her as well. I could be good for her, but she could probably get someone that's more compatible that's going to suit her better. I don't know. I honestly wouldn't want to be the person to suit her good because I, I, I don't know. There's certain things that's not good. I don't know. There's better compatibility is all I do know. That's all I do know. But anyways, like this, man, you guys got to be careful of people like this because they are fucking devious snakes. Devious. And there's a lot of people out there that will do shit like that to you. 100%. And you just look like a complete idiot. This person looks like a complete idiot whenever these things happened. Like a complete idiot. And just know there's probably situations you guys were in that something similar happened. Maybe in a little bit of a different way, but this is what these no good people do. They completely make shit up. That's not even, like, true at all. Sometimes some people say something about someone and it could be actually be true. And then other times you get these idiots that literally say stuff that is just not true. They fucking lie. 
to make this shit up. To make you just look completely stupid. And unfortunately, stupid people will believe them. Stupid people will believe them. Smart people will not. This girl, like I said, that I used to talk to, she actually did not believe this guy. She just, it's like she didn't even care what, what he said about me. That's kind of like how it was. Which is good. Because there are idiots out there that might have even believed a guy like that. Snake. I wouldn't trust that with anything. Very untrustworthy person. People that do shit like that. Some people will do anything just to get a win over you. Some people will do anything just to do something like that. Will do anything. Snake you for a girl. And I know other situations as well, not even involving me that have, that have, that has happened and There's a lot of things that happen out there that's just really fucking crazy and unnecessary. And I, I, I would bet any money a lot of you guys went through a lot of crazy situations yourselves. With, with similar things like this happening. And it's honestly what jealousy really is and envy. When someone, says je when, when someone is jealous of you, they, they will do shit like that because they know you can probably pull that person. They know you can probably do that thing. So they're going to try to put a stop to it. They want to see if they can do it over you. They want to see... They don't want to see. They want to try their hardest to try to make it happen. To try to get something that you can't. They want to try so bad. And these people are always going to get hit with reality. And that's the beautiful thing. Because God does not make mistakes. People make mistakes all the time, but not God. Everything happens for a reason in God's hands. And you'll, what you'll notice is people like that never end up doing very well. They always end up in trouble. They always end up in very, very, very poor situations. And the people that really do the real work are going to be the ones that end up getting rewarded. God does not reward snakes in that kind of a way. At all. So. Watch the fuck out for people like that. Because they are trash. They will try to ruin your life any way they can. Could you imagine if this was a person that I actually would have ended up with or something? <laughs> and like, that person ruined it or something? Could you imagine that? You'd be skinned alive. But honestly, in this thing that I just wrote down, it actually... It wasn't even bad at all. That person did not even believe them. But they will try to slander your name. They will try to do shit like that to you. Because you look good. You're, you're good. You can, you can do things. They simply can't. So they'll try to lie about you. And in, in other situations too. I could simply get fitter than everybody else. And people would throw steroids on my name. Oh, he's doing steroids. He has to be. Look, he put on some muscle. You put on muscle when you eat very good and consistently go to the gym. It's a fucking miracle, isn't it? Oh my god. You put on a little bit of muscle. Oh my god, he's doing steroids. Idiots. They can't accept reality. They will slander your fucking name. They'll throw those things on your name. As if the only reason why I did that is because he did this drug. He did the steroids. It's the only reason. He got huge because he did this. To diminish your hard work. To make you look stupid. To make you look unaccomplished. To make everything about you look so easy and ordinary. Yeah, did this because of this. He did this because of this. Blah, 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 blah. No. 
It's called doing the real work. Something you can't do. Which is why they say that. Because they can't do what you do. So they have built in excuses. They can't pull the girl that you can pull. So they have built in excuses. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Slander, slander, slander. Make you look stupid, make you look stupid, make you look stupid. Everything to take away from what you can actually do in your worth. Snakes. Those are not your boys. They don't want the best for you. They don't care about you. They are not your boy. They're just a fucking snake. That's all they are. And it's all they ever will be. So... If you want to take a person like that serious and hang with people like that all the time, tch. honestly, you are that person. You are that person. If you were to stay friends with a person like that, you are that person. If someone was good to you for a long time, your friends, then whatever, nothing ever bad happened and something crazy happened, then you know the truth. You're not going to be friends with them no, friends with them no more. <clears throat> you have to have boundaries with certain people. Even snakes like that, maybe you, you might do the odd thing, the odd time with them. You, you might see them somewhere, something happens, you do some activity together, you, you play a sport together right quick or something like that, and it's done. Other than that, you're not close with them, you're not brothers with them, you don't trust them. That's about it, that's where it stops. You don't invite them over. You don't invite them over for tea and crumpets. You don't invite them. You don't invite them over for coffees. You don't give them shit. You don't do anything for them. That's gonna take out of your pocket. Because they're not your brother. They're just a fucking snake. And you know that about them. So you adjust. You know what they are. That's all you need to know. But someone you could call a family, someone that'll actually do things for you, buy things for you, whatever. You can do the same thing for them. You can you can consider them family. They they give you things that actually cost them money. That's a person that actually cares to some degree. If they're willing to do that, it just goes to show. It's just enough. It's just it's almost like proof. And if you're a good person yourself, and and you would do things like that for other people, as long as they're not snakes. You would, give, you would give back to them in tenfold. You would do double the things they would do for you. And that's just how it is. I went through a period where I just hated people for a long time. Like, in my early 20s. Because I did a lot of things for bad people in my later teens when I had a lot of good things going for myself at that point. I just had more than most. I, I was, I don't know. I just had more. I saved better. I, I worked harder. I did smarter things. So I was, I was, I had the, the better car, I had more money, I could do things, I bought people things. And these same people stabbed me in the back, so it pissed me off for a while. It makes you want to stop doing things for people when that happens and you don't know who to trust and things are a little sus. But eventually, when you keep going through life, you start to learn who is who, what is what, what you can do for certain people, weave out the snakes. That's all. That's that. that that's all it really comes down to. Snakes are not always bad. They just do snaky things, which is bad. Which means there's no trust there. There's no solid. There, nothing solid is there. They can act like good people and do whatever sometimes and stuff like that, but to the core of their being, that's who they actually are. So you can't overly do anything for them. Nothing like that. You just gotta know where you stand with snakes. And other people you would call brothers, sisters, family, whatever. Just know where you stand with people. That's all you have to really do. So, that's pretty much the video. <clears throat> Be careful out there. Never be close with someone that is a liar. Literally a liar. Like, it doesn't get worse than lying. When these people are saying things like that, that's not even true. Making things up. Could you imagine someone leaving you on open? <laughs>
leaving you unread. You want to talk to them so bad and you're trying, but they're just ignoring your messages, ignoring your messages, ignoring your messages. And then you go to somebody else, yeah, this person over there, they're, they're trying to talk to me all the time. I just keep ignoring them. I don't want to talk to them. But it's the other way around. I actually had a conversation with, an, and I'll end it with this. I had a conversation today with a, with an older fella. He's like 56 right now, I think. He's my neighbor. He has a big house. He's renting one room out to um, some woman that is 60 years old on a button. She's been married and divorced a few times. She has a few kids with different guys. And he, he, this girl is not in his house house part. There's a spot out back where you walk in a different door and it's not connected to the actual house. So that's good for him because he'd never be able to live with that, with, with that woman in the same house. Me and him talked about it and he was laughing. He's like, there's no fucking way. But before he let her rent a spot, she came to him and, and told him things like, yeah, me and my guy, uh, me and my husband, we're breaking up or splitting up and she made it sound like she was the one that left him wanted him out of the house and, and all this stuff but it was a complete opposite way around she told him that this guy that she was with was an alcoholic he was abusive manipulative and all this stuff she is the alcoholic she is the abuser she is and she is annoying as I know who it is. I've seen her. She don't know how to shut up. She'll drink all the time. She'll come outside and she'll be saying, "Get out of here, annoying woman. Get out of here." Nobody wants to. No, nobody wants that around. Nobody. Just completely annoying. Like it just makes you mad when she comes around. Like you can literally just see her. She doesn't even say a word. It's just annoying. Like who you are, your energy, everything. It's fucking annoying. Get the fuck out of here. That's just how it is. Some people are like that, bro. Some people are literally like that. Nothing but annoying. So she lied to this guy. Said her husband, alcoholic, abusive, manipulative. She is the alcoholic. She drinks all the time. But she did not tell him this. Chain smoke cigarettes. Just an annoying old lady. 100 pounds at best. Skinny, frail, drinks, smokes. <sighs> annoying. Nobody wants her around. Nobody wants to hear anything she has to say. Nothing. <sighs> that is the last fucking thing anybody would want in their life. Me and this guy, we just shake our head. Holy fuck. So when she leaves our site, holy fuck. <sighs> it's something else, man. This this is what manipulative people do. They lie their way into what they can. That'll benefit them. They lie, they lie, they lie. They're pieces of shit. And deep down to their core, they know it. They just have so many problems they do not resolve. She can't face her demons, become a better person, become tolerable. She's just going to do what she wants. Even this guy was telling me, she's like, she's like a little child. You can't tell her nothing. Half the time when we tell her to get out of here, she won't. She just keeps standing there and annoying us and doing stupid, stupid shit. The stupidest shit you'll ever see. And it's so cringe and it's annoying and it's like... I would literally hang myself if I had to live with somebody like that. Literally. I couldn't do it. And the guy, I, I, I told this to the guy today, and he's like, or kill her. And I, I just started laughing because honestly, Jesus, man, like, anything, anything but living with something like that. Like, oh my God. It'd be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> a literal nightmare. I could not even fathom that in my mind, living with something like that, being around something like that. I feel bad for this guy, and he's not even the same house part, but it's bad enough that she's in behind his place, and he has to deal with her on a daily basis, at least a little bit. 
I couldn't do it. I'd rather not take her money, get out of here, and whatever. Rent it to somebody else, not even rent it at all. But I'm just explaining because it's people like that, man, you have to avoid. Liars. She's a liar. The person I explained near the start of the video, liar. They lie their way into things, whether it's to gain a specific person, to lie their way so they can rent a room, make it sound like they're the better person, when no, you're an alcoholic, you drink every day. This girl is literally drunk every single day. Every day. A functioning alcoholic. She got a DUI. She lost her license. Six-year-old woman. Divorce. Who the fuck could keep that? <sighs> Who in the absolute fuck in their right minds could keep something like that around? There's some people that are just messed up in this world, bro. Severely, severely messed up. And she happens to be one of them. And there's a lot of other crazies out there, too. She's a definition of the crazy cat lady. She's got cats. Yuck. I hate cats. I fucking hate cats. I despise them. If you're a cat owner and you die... And your cat can't be fed. It will eat you alive to survive. Your dog will lay down beside you and starve and die right beside you. That's how loyal dogs are. And that's how not loyal cats are. Cats don't give a fuck about you. They're useless. Whoever owns cats gives me fucking serial killer vibes, bro. Literally. You're fucking crazy. There's probably a bunch of people who own cats that's watching this video, but... I'm just gonna tell you, it's creepy. I hate cats, they're useless. What do they do? Nothing. They don't love you, they just, they're just there. Oh, my cat loves me. Really? Not really, not nearly as much as a dog. Dogs are just always loving you all the time. Cats, no. Nah. They just want you to take care of them, feed them, give them a place to stay. And they will eat you alive if you die. And they can't get fed. They will eat you, their own owner. That's what cats do. It's happened before. I'm not just saying this to say it. It's actually happened before. And you know what else happened before? Dogs laying beside their owners and dying and starving to death. And people finding both. It's called loyalty.